welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. I must tell you, half of Ogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. I better go on. Off to the races. Pretty though. I wonder who lives here. Well, how marvelous! Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. So, what? You finally scared everyone else away? Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. acceptable. Brilliant. Maybe. Oh, did anyone else see that? The last time I... 
You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, I'll be unrivaled at the next course. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. If you work all day with your hands, back from your latest flight. Revelio. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius.
Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I believe practice your new spell here in the office before taking it out into the world. any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Cost us out, Frank. No! Confirm the retreat! Incendio! Deposit! Exposo! Confirm the
Revelio. I'll make you wish you were back at school. Will you hold still? A body to Dabro! You made a great mistake! To Pulsar! Can bring I know you're stupid, but you're weak and quickly. You're creeping into my family! Stupefy, you're coming. You're the one who released Let me go, Confringo. Shame nobody saw that. A body of this human. I will make you bad. Confringo. Let me go, you don't know who you're playing with! Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. ah. ah. You won't ah. get away with me! Confringo! Test! Let me also! You've one less follower, Ranrock. A body could open. Leviosa. Confringo. Devolsa. Expulsa. Time for some assistance. Confringo. They say you're hard to hit. Leviosa. Rookwood, perhaps you want to give up. Incendio! Let me also. How is Barrel fit? You just. Over here! You will regret it. You've made a great mistake. Levioso! Confringo! We're in trouble! We're in dying, aren't we? Levioso! When do you think you give up? Confringo! Incendio. 
Confringo. Confringo. Akio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Incendio. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Rebellio. Oh. Levioso. So the train wheels, little shit. Oh, what's the light going on? Incendium. Conchringo. Levioso. Flash of inspiration. Huh? PRD. Depulsa. Incendio. Confringo. Let's drop a fable bag. What are your thoughts on electricity? Levio. Depulsa. Confringo. Look what you say, expulsion. Incendio. Depulsa. Incendio. You're having the knack at all! Levioso. 
Rebellion. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. there. In the market for potions, are we? Yes. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. 
Yes, Lord Gog. He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. You too, are meat. <laughs> Welcome to the Og's Head. Revelio. The empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today.
Ah, and there it is, the witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? You can't imagine... I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here. Eagerly awaiting your return, please. Be careful. Revelio. It's sealed. Moths. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Accio! Lumos! Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Revelio. Uh. 
Confringo! Lumos. Depulso. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Incendio! Depulso! Lumos! Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. <sighs> What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Levioso. 
Revelio. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. This looks even more complex. Lumos. Lumos. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Depulsa! 
Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. Compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Better show this to Lodgok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lodgok. The sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. There they are. The Ashwinders. Revelio. Akio. Blanche of inspiration. Expulsion. Expulsion. It'll be Laura. Good friend. Incendio. I, I might want to look at you. Expulsion. Expulsion. Protego. The divine might not to do that. Akio. Incendio. Good friend. What are your faults on? Electricity. Confringo. Accio. Expulsion. 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 Exp
Incendio. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Defendo. Confringo. Protego. Stupefy. Defendo. Revelio. That's it. This is for Rockwood. I'll make you. I'm back at school. Productor. Accio. Incendio. Confringo. Accio. Incendio. Confringo. Akio. Ah, <sighs> no one to share in my victory. Revelio. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. said that travel broadens the mind. <clears throat> Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. <clears throat> Thank you.
acaba? I hope those assignments... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious. Based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking, and I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills, and you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Levioso, Descender. Excellent. I think you have it. Can bring her. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Have a look around. Revelio. Just a minute. Say we show you some of what's available. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon.
Off on another adventure, are we? Back here. Ah! I defeated the Nashwinder by myself. Revelio. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. Perhaps a hybrid. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plan. Incendio. right out of a storybook.
There we go. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Propendo! Levioso! Confringo! Levioso! Descendo! Made a grave mistake! Not the 
best place for an unaccompanied student. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. Revelio. Welcome back. Revelio. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend spell as Arrest well. Arrest momentum. That's it. Keep it up. Uh. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. Didn't think you were a match for me. Akio. All in the wrist. One for the ages. Akio. Come on, Leander. Oh. Akio. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. 
The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. you up to now? Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. 
Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the Prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a rebellion of the castle after all. Aloha Mora. Revelio. students getting along this year rather poorly I'd say is that so uh, we're raising a generation This must be the prefect's bathroom. Stirring up 
trouble. Perhaps Ranrock and Hithop wouldn't be so cold. If the military would have had one of those goblins come to my village, I'll hand him his hat. Or hat. But anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. I'm asking Professor Hecate to pass it to her. I don't think that's Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other players in my way, though. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Hufflepuff? Not Ravenclaw? the human condition.
Revenue. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery.